we're on easy street and it feels so sweet because the world is but a treat when you're on easy street welcome to the easy street radio show hosted by rob scribner grab a cup of coffee and let's get started our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon right now hello everyone and welcome to easy street this is part two of running your own internet television on Roku. And uh, once again, I want to remind you, the reason I created this is if you were to start your own TV station and you say, okay, I want to uh, see what other people are doing or, you know, uh, uh, check, find out, you know, how they're scheduling, how they're doing that. And, and if you do a search on the internet, you won't find it. <laughs> and so I thought, a video like this is needed for folks that are thinking about starting a television uh, station on Roku or on Fire Stick and the rest of them. And why is because, oh my gosh, it's a lot. It's a whole lot. So I, I think I'll start personally a little bit about what it takes to have a TV station. One is you stop shaving, <laughs> unless you're a woman. Well, I guess a woman could do that too. Uh, it's a 24 seven job. And why is that? Because the world is big and I deal with folks on East coast and I deal with folks on West coast and, uh, uh, they, you know, their mornings start earlier and their nights are longer and, uh, we're dealing with a lot of big files. So, uh, if you don't like to deal with files, uh, and you don't like to deal with the time, this is not for you. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Um, one of the, there's kind of two main things that go on at, uh, when you own an internet TV, you have folks that produce shows and uh, support that by giving you a copy of their show, which is typically, typically in an MP4 um, video status, which can be very big files, um, six gigabytes to, on up. <clears throat> each show. So number one rule is you've got to have a lot of space on your computer. And if you don't get some external drives, I personally have two, um, uh, one eight terabyte drive and one 10 terabyte drive, which I back up the backups. Um, but I get overwhelmed with so many files. My C drive on my main computer typically, uh, starts showing red, uh, within a week until I start clearing things out, moving them to the external drives. And then all these files that come in, I don't keep them all. It'd be incredibly in, uh, impossible. Um, with all these files that come in, I bring them in on the computers, work with them, upload them to where they need to go. And then I have to delete them because I can't hold on to everybody's MP4s. It's, in, it's so much data that it will just drive you crazy. So. Don't go into this without one good computers two having lots of external drive um, backup uh, space. Cause not only that, you know, we produce our own shows and we don't get rid of those. We keep those in archives. Where do you put all of those big files? Well, yeah, you gotta have an external drive. So recommendation when you do this, uh, definitely have computer power and also uh, uh, lots of uh, storage. Uh, one of the things I wanted to show you is another thing that goes on all the time. Uh, this is one particular um, software that I use. This is called um, Video Studio from uh, Corral. Uh, so even though somebody sends you files and they're kind of new or etc., it's not unusual for me to have to pull their file into uh, my software and maybe trim off some edges. Um, when you're doing television, the uh, preferred file size is uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, I think I got that right. <clears throat> and uh, you'll find that uh, luckily our servers are forgiving. Um, or uh, when somebody sends us MP4, it, uh, we get some conversions done. Uh, typically, folks send you files of uh, 1280 by 720. Uh, they will work, however... Um, uh, remember you're dealing with television and that's the problem with this whole thing is when you're dealing with people, you're dealing in a different, um, it's not like radio and it's not like front page and it's not like a front page of 
Facebook or it's not like a uh, YouTube. Um, <clears throat> uh, by the way, if we deal with higher quality videos, even some of those platforms I talked about, it's too high, but not for television. So uh, uh, ha you're going to have to have editing software. Now, there's all kinds out there. This is the one I prefer because it's uh, one affordable, two um, has lots of flexibility and does exactly what I want quickly. Um, <clears throat> but getting back to the controls, just this morning, I've dealt with two, uh, one live stream, uh, uploaded one video um, from one of our clients. Um, actually, I started that last night, so this morning it was there. And so just because they're there doesn't mean anybody can see them yet. Then you got to put them into their categories because, remember, we have video on demand. Sorry, I have to have my coffee because uh, this is insane. So I actually did a list of some of the things. Uh, um, let me uh, shut this off for now and uh, <coughs> talk about some of the pros of why you want to do this in the first place. First of all, your um, uh, one of the cons, your personal hygiene will go to pot. You won't shave anymore. You don't have time or anything. You just live in a chair. Uh, and your family life will be, uh, they have to make appointments to see you. <laughs> That's part of it. It's not quite that bad. You got to learn how to manage. Time management is important, guys. Um, and if you're married, uh, you better keep that time management going or uh, you're going to have some upset family. And if you have kids, it's even worse. This will take a lot of your time. So you got to remember, we also run a, ra a radio station. So um, let me bring this screen up forward. You can see it. And there it is. So we also run Good Talk Radio, which is 24-7. So this is the software we use. It's called Sam Broadcaster. And we use a cloud version because a lot of folks that create internet tele, um, radio stations, a lot of times they'll do a base software or use a laptop or use a computer that's at home or in their offices to run their radio stations. And guess what happens? Right in the middle of the day, a good old Windows update happens or the power goes off and it shuts down your computer or something like that. And the radio station goes down. That doesn't happen to us because we're on a cloud. So we have to take every file that comes in and uh, upload it to our cloud. And uh, uh, we can carry about 30 gigabytes of data which is actually plenty because we got tons of music. Um, but you've got to have something to run just like television. You have to need, you need a software to run your radio stations. And then um, here I can also show you kind of uh, to make this look like a radio station too. You can see that when our shows come in, we have to uh, schedule them. And this is actually a weekly schedule showing what the shows are playing. This is much more sophisticated than it looks, but uh uh, this shows us where our music plays at nighttime. It shows when the shows come on. Right now, it's Wednesday, and you can actually see that the Ranger Rob Rednecks Rule the World, which is a um, radio show, is on right now. It's almost over, and the next show that comes on is Leo Roundtable. Um, <clears throat> but that's that's internet radio, and so um, I'll leave it at that for that. So we'll get back to... Um, Gosh, I've got so many screens open. Hang in there. This is one way everybody has to be patient. Um, I'll get back to uh, video on demand. <clears throat> so one of the pro, uh, some of the pros I wrote down is one is uh, radio is getting, uh, there's a lot of folks doing internet radio. So it gets bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, which means it gets more saturated, saturated, saturated. Now the old radio stations that you hear in your car, those are still popular for folks that are going from nine to five in the work and all that stuff. But, um, a lot of internet radio can be pulled in <clears throat> to, uh, cars now because of, uh, uh, Bluetooth and all that stuff. So we're finding a lot more that we're actually get, uh, getting more of those folks. Um, but um, those guys are doing those shows. Um, we're seeing, and it's not just, I'm talking for other stations and networks too. We're seeing a decline definitely um, in um, listeners because there's so much to listen to. 
And that's a good thing. Lots of variety, right? So it creates competition. Well, of course, competition creates like, how can I do this better than the other guy? Well, then it's, well, what's the other, what's new out there? Well, television. <clears throat> There's tons of people streaming now on, um, on YouTube, all that stuff. So they're starting to get used to doing the show's live radio. And so when the show's over, they send their uh, MP3 sound bites to us and we put them on the radio. But uh, in order to enhance their listenership, a lot of times they're doing video um, at the same time. So that tells you that the, um, people like that. They like to see who they're listening to. <clears throat> Plus people are starting already make videos. They just got to learn how to save them when they're done. So it just makes sense that um, that Roku and all these things are kind of the new platform out there that people are enjoying. How, what's the drawback of that? It costs a lot of money. So <clears throat> if you want to do this, it's going to cost money. You're going to have to have money. Get, give yourself at least a $500 to $1,000 budget a month. That's number one. Um, two is the people you work with have got to realize they've got to chip in. Um, and they're not all that thrilled about that. So they're kind of used to radio and where they're not getting charged much or charged at all. Um, so you come along with a platform like this is like, uh, you know, do you want more listeners? You want to try something new, whatever. Um, but anyway, uh, some of the other pros I wanted to bring up, cause this is only a half hour show, so I have to talk fast. So I apologize. Um, we're going to get different viewers than we've had before because, Roku reaches about 15 regions, and uh, the trick is getting people to go to Roku, going into their search and typing in your network. And the problem is, is it looks like, and we don't know for sure, but Roku only allows searches on your title, not your content. And they're probably doing that because they're, they want it, their content to be in there, but not the private channels. So your paradigm of how you advertise a show is, you know, usually you're always thinking about how can I get found in the search engines, Google, Bing, all those stuff. How do I, you know, get my show out there and people can find me by search? But it's a little different in the internet. Um, one is it's up to you on your shows to tell people you're on Roku and how to get to Roku, what channel you're on, which is cutting edge TV. So, the paradigm's changed a little bit. Um, instead of having a website and, and trying to get all your shows out, um, the shows that you do have let people know you're on Roku. So what happens is those who really, just people that have Roku just love Roku. And so they'll find your channel, and then pretty soon they'll start watching you from there, which means in turn when they have friends over, et cetera, that they say, what are you watching? Um, it, it's a growth. It's um, your people will start following you at the same time. Uh, uh, you have to market the television show um, or television station um, more so than the shows. Now you can, you can advertise the shows and stuff on commercials and on your platforms and on YouTube and on Facebook and you can make ads. So that's where I was showing you the video software. I'm constantly making <clears throat> uh, video content Showing people, hey, this is what you're missing. These people are up here on Roku. Get in your Roku and add us in. <clears throat> and then there's a whole fad out there, people wanting to get off a of cable and wanting to get off a of dish. And so now we got these new platforms like uh, Hulu and Roku and um, Amazon Prime and Disney, all these things. And people are actually saving money and and so they have a, an urge to find platforms like this so um it's it's different and and so the mindset of sometimes of the people that we deal with from radio stations um don't um <clears throat> still try to think like they're on a radio station it's not it's television and uh it's very competitive so it's up to them, the people that have shows, to let people know that they're on Roku and they're on Cutting Edge TV. I know they want to, and what they'll try to do is they want to say, well, I want to be found by my name on, on Roku. And it ain't going to happen unless they create their own channel um, 
pay the big bucks and give it the title of their show. <clears throat> but if you're going to, sorry, doing a lot of shows lately and on the phone a lot. Anyway, so marketing is different. Marketing requires um, not trying to focus on trying to, like, we have Sons of Liberty, big show. On Roku, can, if someone goes to um, Roku and types in Sons of Liberty, uh, will they find it? No. Um, not on Roku. Will they find it on Google and all that stuff? Yes, over time as you create posts and create, um, um, like I'm, if I make an ad for Sons of Liberty on Cutting Edge TV and then I pump that out to different platforms, eventually that gets indexed by the search engines and people will see that. Um, so your clients will come in and say, well, I can't find myself on Roku. And it's frustrating. You go, no, you won't. You'll find our station on there. And so our job is, you know, we, on our side, promote our shows that we have uh, on our station. <clears throat> but the people that have shows also need to promote that they're on television. Because a lot of people, say, uh, I've heard it over and over and over again. Oh, well, cool. You're on Roku. I'll start watching you that way because it's easy for them. And that's what you want to do. You want to make your clients um, enjoy watching your show the way they want to watch it. There's 40 million people that are subscribed to Roku, and, and there's a reason for it, and they like it. And so instead of uh, trying to trace through, you know, in fact, when it comes to commercials, I don't know if you've noticed, but if you're on YouTube, man, they have a barred shows with, uh, it wasn't that bad before. But it's like very irritating. There's like tons of advertising going on. Um, so uh, a lot of folks are getting tired of that too. So they're going to you know, platforms like this. And you got to change with it. So if you've got a show and you're working with a television station and they're putting your show up there, you have to on your station say, I am available now. This show is available on Roku. And you can find us by searching Cutting Edge TV. Once they have that on, all they have to do is check and see what the latest updates or what new shows, just like you do on Netflix or, or on Amazon Prime, et cetera, to see what new shows were loaded and video on demand. And so that's one of the other pros about being on television like this is you don't have to wait for your show to play. Um, like on radio, people can go into the channel they get this menu that you see on the screen right now and say, well, I want to watch Sons of Liberty. Well, you can do that by right here. All these are Sons of Liberty and all these are Sons of Liberty. And they're just one new show. Uh, and both of those categories get a new show every day. And so you could binge watch all these guys or just uh, go in there and say, because people jump around to different platforms now. They'll come into a Cutting Edge TV, say, oh, send a platform. I'm going to watch this show, and I'm going to watch this show, and then I'm going to go to Amazon and watch a movie. It's That's how it works. It's just people, and, and up here also people like it because we have what's called recently added. So when they come in here, they say, oh, they just put that in, that's new, and that's new. And so... Uh, that's there for uh, convenience for people can save themselves a little time. Um, so video on demand is cool. Um, uh, we have a stream too, uh, which is a sh you know, we have shows playing, but really it's video on demand is the powerful tool for people to see uh, what's going on. In the future, we're adding on an app for your cell phone. So you can watch these shows just for cutting edge TV and when your show plays, we can send a notification or a new show comes on. We can send a notification to your phone saying, hey, the new Sons of Liberty or a new Leo Roundtable has come out. Um, uh, here's, here's the link. And so we can send out reminders. You know. So that's good for the people producing shows. And two, it's good for you for convenience. And you can watch at lunchtime or whatever you want to do. Uh, the other thing that's really cool about Roku is you are definitely uh, hitting a lot of different regions, different countries. Many of our shows, people are watching in Ireland or UK, or etc. Once they realize your show's on Roku, that's much easier for them to uh, listen to your show. Um, so uh, you want to tell them you're on Roku and you want to tell them what station you're on. Um, 
And the last thing I want to bring is a lot of people like this is the ultimate cool of coolness. It's a dream come true. Have you ever thought you ever have an opportunity to actually own and control your own television network? It's amazing. Um, there are sacrifices. I can just tell you that right now. There is sacrifices. You got to uh, let me get my screen back to uh, normal again, so you can see I'm run down and tired. And really, I put in long hours. <clears throat> I'm not complaining. I like what I'm doing. But it's a dream come true. I've always kind of thought it'd be cool to run a television station. Well, then when you get one going, you just, you want it to be better and better and better. It's like, how can I improve this? You start running a television station. You're like, oh, geez, that sucks. And then you got to fix it. And then, oh, I got to do this better. How do I do transitions? <clears throat> on and on and on. But I also want to get into some of the... Um, cons of, of what you got to be up against on here. Statistics are terrible. I don't, I don't have, even, even on radio, statistics are terrible. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> so, gosh. Um, I only get a report once a month and on my software that we use to make our television uh, station here. Um, let me bring this back up again. Let me go to a smaller screen. Um, we don't get, I can't see how many people are viewing the television station right this minute. Um, all I get is, because um, I'm working with a third party, a monthly report, and I'll, I'll have to kind of compare my schedule to how much traffic we had in there and find out what we're doing right or wrong. We're a fairly new station. Well, of course, a lot of people that are on our station who are paying money <clears throat> want to know uh, want to know what's happening and i have to say this is another paradigm uh, one is, is it's not like the internet we don't have analytics on, uh, that we want as well as we want it so uh, for us we're trying to get our website um with statistical information on it which is controlled by the other party Normally we have, uh, we run our own servers, so we run our own website. So typically I could easily just go into a website, add statistical data and call it a day and then be able to check it whenever I want. Well, not so easy when you're doing it and have somebody else hosting your website. Um, and uh, what we're trying to do is on video and demand on the website that people can actually share those to social media so people uh, will have a good idea that their shows are in at least video on demand you know it's very confusing and so uh, bear with me uh time slots is also um the two main things i was telling you before that the uh, streams and mp4s a lot of people with streams uh one is they find it easier and it is easier for us too uh, but they got to be on time. They can't run late. We can't cross the streams. We're all um, otherwise, we don't get the shows recorded up on the server. So, uh, um, you know, streams are cool. But the, you know, the problem is, is a lot of sp uh, people that do shows all do them after work, and it's all about the same time. So we can only allow so many streams at certain times. Uh, luckily, when Sons of Liberty came in for us, they are a morning show over in the East Coast. It was wide open for them because everybody else wants evenings. So uh, uh, if you're East Coast show and you're in the mornings, uh, getting f uh, time to stream to a television station most likely would be true. Otherwise, you have to make your show and mail or send your MP4 to the station and then they load it up. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with that either. In fact, if anything, you can, uh, if there was a mistake or something with your video, you could go in and fix it before you send it to the television station. Um, <clears throat> I guess another thing is kind of a pro, but a con at the same time is there is freedom on Roku. You can talk and be as explicit as you want with your language. Uh, we only have really one show that really pushes that button. But, you know, the other thing that's really important about Roku, and this is a, um, a, a pro uh, thing for them, is, is uh, freedom of speech. Uh, you're not going to be worried every time you upload a video and, you know, um, see that you got a strike against you or a copyright issue or something like that. Um, it's just um, one of the reasons why all of us are doing this and moving up is because we are being um, censored 
And so we got to keep finding platforms that are allowing everybody to talk the truth. And uh, everybody deserves that. What, what's, no matter what side of the your views are, we all have the right to be able to speak our mind. That's what, what made America um, great. And that's why we're all fighting for this kind of stuff. Uh, some of the other cons before we run out of time here. Um, uh, support is, all this is new and support is um, uh, okay. It's not the best. Uh, usually if I need something done uh, on their side, it could be weeks. Um, I don't know if there, it's because of the, you know, the CV stuff out there and they're slow to and we're actually making this video during the holidays. They might be uh, kind of down on their uh, head count and stuff like that. But um, you have to be patient. This whole thing with television, even though it's really cool and the shows are going all that, on people who produce them and control them and schedule them and handle the files and stuff, it takes patience. Lots of patience. Let me move my camera over here a little bit. Okay, oh, there, I'm back. Anyway, so. I don't know how many times I've said that in the show, patience, patience, because you are dealing with files. Um, and sometimes your clients, it's like, why isn't my show up yet? Well, your damn show is big. <laughs> Got to get it up there. Um, so you, you also want to make sure you have pretty decent internet uh, from wherever your workstations are. Um, scheduling, uh, well, I was also said dealing with the big files. Scheduling is tough, uh, especially when you got, Folks that want to stream and folks that want to deal with MP4s. It's like, oh, poor babies. It's like, well, what can I stream? Well, somebody else is streaming that time. Well, I still want to be in TV. Then, okay, then when the show's over, send us the MP4. We'll load you. Oh, they're so big and it takes so long. It's like, well, that's television. Welcome to the paradigm shift. Deal with it. Is Just get in the habit of getting used to dealing with a big file. If you want to be on television, you got to deal with MP4s. This is how it is. Um, what is some of the other thing? I, I told you some of the frustrating about advertising and marketing. Roku doesn't help with the individual shows. You need to market the station, the station, the channel. Cutting Edge TV, for us, we've got to advertise the channel. I can't advertise Sons of Liberty on Roku on Roku. The Roku search engine is designed for Roku, and um, Roku will show their shows, but they won't show your shows. They'll show your title because you're a private channel. And uh, good, bad, or indifferent, that's the facts. So you got to market things differently. So you're advertising um, and, and, and even your commercials or, or breaks that you put in your show is advertising your different shows, advertising your times. Um, and then uh, you will have a website that supports your Roku, and you can use that to do the kind of marketing that you're thinking of that you've always done in the past. So you got to change your paradigm. You're going to advertise your television station. You can't advertise the shows the way you want to. And your clients, I uh, have one that's just very frustrated. That it's like, oh, I can't find my show on Roku. Nope, you won't. You can't. Um, uh, you can find Cutting Edge TV just fine. And, and be patient with us as we get shows in. We're doing social media marketing also, and people will still find the fact that you're on Roku. Uh, it's a different client. Um, it's not. It's not like the internet. It's television, and so, you know, you just aren't going to see the instant information that you are used to seeing on uh, on internet, uh, like radio stuff like that. So, um, and you got to give it time. Um, people have to discover the fact that you're on Roku, and uh, your Roku lovers will love the fact that you're there. So uh, the other thing um, I wanted to bring up on this is I'm almost out of time is you're going to be spending a lot of early mornings and late nights doing all this stuff. So that's as far as I can go on this show because I'm out of time again. So I want to thank you very much for listening. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Until next time, please leave comments below if you have questions. We can do a part three eventually. So anyway, guys, take care. Bye now. 
Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.